been probably not as comfortable as we would have liked. What do you think of the game? I think first and foremost, I thought we were excellent. We showed a lot of character at the, at the feet on Saturday. Um, and then when, when I look back at Saturday, the game was much tighter. I think they had five, five shots on target and scored four the other day. And we had four shots on target and scored two. But on tonight's performance, they bounced back the way we did. I thought it was, was really good. Got ourselves in a great position again. And to be fair to them, they're well organised defensively, very fit team. Tommy's got them very fit and athletic and they're hard to beat. So and if you look at all the games, they've been tight. I don't think anyone's given them any, any sort of tonking. So but at different stages in the game, we had created unbelievable opportunities. And we need to be able to, if we're going to be better and better and better, we need to go two, three, four. So look, in the end, our goalie made saves when he had to, which was crucial, some excellent saves. And we never sort of really, really put it to bed. So all in all, it's a great win. You mentioned uh, Laurie making some great saves, Aluo as well, making some great tackles with great clearances. Mm. Are these the type of games where if you can't score four or five, you really have to keep it tight at the back? Well, we're never going to score four or five. Listen, the team that usually has the best defensive record usually be in the title race. So um, I think the biggest thing for us tonight is they changed tactics second half and come and really pressed us. And the wind, obviously, it's, it's quite windy tonight. It was going towards this goal down here. We had it first half. Probably never got a big enough lead with it. And then it allowed them to press us better. Um, and we turned over the ball a couple of times and off the, off the back of that when they counted on us, which happened to us at Rochdale the other day. Just a little bit sloppy in possession. When they counted on us, um, they got into some good areas, to be fair. It's just sloppy play from us. Just torn over individual. Um, so, yeah, look. It's never going to be perfect. We're not Man City. We like to play the right way. I think we play the right way. I think we play entertaining football. We want to score goals. And I'll never change that with my teams. And uh, t today, look, just character wise, it was a big, big night. There was some pressure on us today. So, and I'll be the same again Saturday. So, all in all, look, as a collective, the whole football club, our supporters, everyone, we all drove each other home today. So, it's a good win. How, how important is it maintaining the morale of players who might not be guaranteed stars? For example, Marvin Armstrong, who played a great first half. We need the squad in this period. I said that all along. We're going to need it all the way through. I think we've got 28 games left, so people are going to come in and out. You see, Marv, you see two or three brilliant bits of play, and then you see some naivety within his, game, within his game. So we're just teaching him the game. We're coaching him the game. He's only been playing full-time football since he joined us 12 months ago. He's not doing it long. So even though he's sort of like 24, he's sort of realistically 17, 18 in football terms. So, but he's got a lot of power, a lot of pace. He could have scored a couple of goals today. Could have made a couple of runs earlier where he could have gotten the end of things when we got him behind their defence, but it was a good performance by him. And that's now a 100% home record um, this season, but away it's not, not as good as we might have liked. What's the solution to that? <laughs> look, defend better. I think we, when we had to defend tonight, we defended better. But look, all different games, they're all different, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? It's hard to go, go anywhere in this division. Show me how many, t I don't know how many teams won away from home tonight in this division, do you know? No, I'm not sure. I wouldn't say there'd be many. That's the God on the truth, so that's how difficult it is. So, look, from our point of view, we just keep going one game at a time. Whether we play at home, whether we play away, we don't go into it with different mindset. We go in to win the game. We always got to win football matches. We try to get on the front foot and go after the opposition, so we'll continue to do that. And then finally, on Harry Pritchard, he may not have had the best of starts this season, but today he looked quite tidy. Um, is his best position for you being a bit deeper and making those runs forward or just a higher average position? I just think he sets standards of scoring so many goals. He's had opportunities to score. I don't. I think he's been good. He showed leadership tonight, made tackles when he had to. He's been like that in every game. He just had, probably hasn't got the numbers as needed. Um, I think his all-round game has been good. Um, I wouldn't criticise him. He's in a team that are toured in the division and he's a key player in that. Uh, that'll, that'll continue to happen. Harry be all right. There's nothing wrong with him whatsoever. His performances have been good. He just hasn't got the numbers output that probably his, his performances deserve. So the main thing for him tonight, he showed leadership. He made a tackle in front of us here in the, in the 95th minute. You know, that's what we need. Crucial times, people to dig deep. You know, get stuck in, make sure the opposition don't score against us. And he was one of them that did that tonight. Thanks for time. Cheers.